Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Frozen Friday video. This week I'll be showing some random things that are be that are coming out from Japan. Um, I have a couple things that I'm going to re-show from a previous video that I showed them in just because they are Japanese. I don't have a ton of the Japanese stuff. It's actually kind of expensive and some of it's kind of hard to find but I was lucky to find this one lot online and it was some cool things so I thought well what the heck so I'll show it. Um, first I'm going to show these. These are the little like phone dangler type things and they have little figures on them but these came out in Japan and this was I think one of the first items that came out even before the movie released. It actually has the date of which the movie was supposed to come out, which was March 14th, 2014. And it has the Japanese logo for Frozen on there. I'm pretty sure they don't call the movie Frozen there. I think it was something like the Ice Queen. I can't remember exactly. If I remember, I'll put it in like a little um, caption on the video, but... But I'm pretty sure it's not called Frozen over there. Um, each country, I think, has a different name for the movie. Uh, Frozen was just what they chose for the U.S. release here. Um, but there's them. And they are really, really cute versions of the character the characters. And here, of course, is Anna. And she is really, really cute. And then here is Elsa. And she has a little snowflake in her hand. So these are pretty detailed. And here's the backs. They actually have an additional like phone plug you can swap out if you don't want to use the lanyard type strap for these. But these are really cute. And I've had these for a while. I haven't been getting a ton of the Japanese merchandise, merchandise like I said. But I've been getting a few things that I thought was cool. And there's some more cool stuff coming out soon like the figure art zero figures which I'm really excited about. I want to get those. Um, Hot Topic came out with these and I was actually really surprised. These are the um, Elsa um, Japanese art socks and I just randomly saw these while I was at the store. But they have the Elsa from the Japanese release uh, merchandise. And they're really really pretty. Um, these socks run fourteen fifty. I think that's how much I paid you, but I'm going to take them out of here so then you can see them better. Alright, so here they are, and I'm going to put them on, on my hand so then I can show them a little bit. But there is the art on that one, and isn't that one really pretty? There are kind of like a sparkly snowflake on them. So there's that one. And then this one just has snowflakes all over it. This one says let it go. And this one actually has an image of Elsa on it, so I'll show you that one a little better. So there's that one. Really pretty. And then lastly, this one. And this one's really nice too. Let's see. And in the back, it has Elsa, her name, on the back. So these are really nice. And this is the Japanese art that's on some of the um, the Disney store releases over in Japan. And I really, really like them. I really like that art. You can actually find uh, more images of her in that style on Google if you wanted to search um, for it. But that is what Hot Topic came out with and that was really cool. Um, next I have these and these are the Gashapon and if you've seen any of my Sailor Moon videos which you might have you might not but these are little um, prize machine um, prizes and they're, they just come in little capsules and then you get random uh, random figures and such. And um, these ones I bought in the lot that I got on eBay. 
I actually had an extra Snow Queen Elsa and I gave it to my friend Maria, but they're just little stampers is what they are and I'm I'm so excited because they actually have more of these but they're just re-releases of the dresses like these are the ones that you can get I don't know how well you can see that but I have one of each one of the dresses and then they have extras of them and each one has a different picture on the bottom there. so the stamps are different but Here's what they are. These little things come off and it just has little stamps on the bottoms. This is the Coronation Elsa one and it has like a silhouette stamp of her. And then I have the Coronation Anna one. And these are really well detailed for something so small. Like they even painted all the detail on them, even on the skirt. So these are really nice. And then it has a silhouette of Anna on the bottom a stamp and then I have the Snow Queen Elsa there's no detail to her cape but you can see some detail up here on her dress and the stamper has an image of her and Anna in like a heart design and then I have the snow gear Anna here and there's lots of detail to this lots and lots of detail as you can see and then hers actually has the exact same stamper on the bottom as the other one. So these are really, really nice um, little gashapon. So, I mean, if you could find them, I actually looked on eBay and they are really hard to find. I wanted to get a whole set of them and I wanted to get some more of the other ones, but they're really hard to find for some reason so if you have a deputy in japan they might be able to get these for you or if you can find a japanese reseller they might be able to um get you some like a shop or something so it's, it's a possibility but those are the ones i found and next i'll be showing these you can't really see in the video but these are olaf gashapon from japan and there are five in the set. I have four of the five, so that's pretty cool. These are the ones I have. I'll put them on my hand so you can see them better. Okay. So these are the ones I have. And like I said, these came out in Japan. And um, I was actually kind of surprised by the detail on these. Like this is the first one I'll show. This is um, Olaf. And he's kind of waving. He's got his little arm up, waving and smiling. And the detail on these are unusual for Olaf figures. I've never seen Olaf portrayed this way. It's kind of... They tried to put detail on his snow. And you can kind of see the shadows there. So it's, he's not completely smooth. Uh, here's one of him singing. Part of In Summer. And it's really, really cute. He's got his little hat on, and the detail is really, really amazing on these. These are figures you could pay like $3 US for. It's like 300 yen kind of thing in Japan, but it's like 2 to $3 for these. Like This is the one where his carrot nose is all the way through <laughs> his head. I was amazed by how detailed these are because there are certain dolls and figures that come out over here that we end up paying a little bit more even for and they're not as detailed as these are so that'll tell you something like he's got his little stick out of this one and look at his facial expression like his facial expression is just like it is in the movie it's like crazy how detailed these are and i really really like them they're really really nice so yeah you can get these in japan and there are parts of like hong kong and even uh the philippines that gets gash upon uh that gets released over there so it's pretty cool that you can have some choices to get these if you know the right people or you can find them on ebay or something but those were kind of hard to find for me i was actually having some trouble with those i did um because i had this little creative stamp set and it has stamps of its own plus an ink um, container like here's the ink container that comes with that set 
I tried to test out the little stampers to see how well they did. Uh, here you can kind of see where I was testing them. These are from the actual stamping set. Uh, but I think since it's kind of made for kids, it's not that good of a stamper. So I might try to get a better stamper or something and try again, but this particular one doesn't really work too good. But you can tell that they actually stamp, and the first one I did actually was pretty close, but it's really hard. Uh, next I have this, and a little backstory on this. This is from the Ichiban Kuji uh, Japanese uh, lottery that they have over in Japan. They sell these tickets at convenience stores over in Japan and you win instantly each time and get prizes like this. This is the D prize. So this was a fairly common prize that you can get. There are some harder ones. I don't really know what other prizes they were giving away in this. Um, I remember looking at it a long, long time ago, thinking about trying to get some stuff from it, but it was basic stuff. Like this is like a placemat and some of the other stuff with maybe coasters or, or um, bag, little makeup bags and stuff. It wasn't anything that really popped out to me, so I didn't really bother with it. But this came in a lot of stuff that I got from Japan. So I thought it was cool enough for me to share. And here is the logo here in Japanese, which is really cool. So this has the storybook type art on it. And it's a really nice thick placemat. On the back, it actually has some information, like it has like the Elsa one that matches it. And then um, for all the Japanese releases, there's this Disney Enterprise Inc. stamper on there, which I noticed. But yeah, you can get uh, these lottery prizes, and I so wish you could do this over here for these. Because I would be buying like tons of tickets, definitely. I don't know how much the tickets cost. From what I heard, they were only like a few dollars or something for a ticket. And it's random. You don't know what you're going to win. But it's cool to get stuff like this. It would be amazing to walk in to a convenience store here in America and get prizes like this that kids would want. But over in Japan, everybody wants them. Adults, any age is into this kind of thing so it's amazing how different that is so next i have what the main attraction i think would be for this video but this is the elsa one and each one of these are kind of like the funkas where they all have like a special number they go by and this one has been um pre-ordered by me for a very very long time now i think like Toward the end of uh, the year last year, I pre-ordered this. I don't know. It's been a long time. And I've been waiting for it to come out for a long time. Because she was announced a long, long time ago. But I'm going to open her. And I have had her for about a week. And I haven't opened her yet. So I wanted to save it for the video. Here are the different sides of it. You can, different ways you can pose her. Oh, and I did get this on AmiAmi.com. In case you're wondering where I got it. They might still have these for pre-order or uh, for order if you want to get one. But. but I'm going to open her and see what she looks like. But she looks really, really cool and I'm really excited about it. She has a lot of pieces. We have a, another figure of another character. Not from Frozen, but from like an anime in this style. And... They do a really good job on these. Alright, so this is what she looks like in the clamshell container. And you do get three different arms and two different faces. An Olaf, a stand, a stand for Olaf, and a little snow flurry piece that goes on her hand. So let me get this out of here. Okay, this is the stand for her. And it's a snowflake. So that's really pretty. And then I don't know what this piece is, but I shall find out. 
and then on the back. Has any of you guys had any weird weather? Because it's like storming every day here in Virginia. And I heard that it's really bad weather in Texas and flooding and everything. So just like weird weather we're having for spring. Okay, so, okay. So that was kind of hard to open. But I'm getting all the pieces out and laying them here. So yeah, she's really pretty. And they have her wrapped really nicely in plastic so she doesn't rub up against the package insert. And she's got plastic over her face. I'm trying to see how that comes off. You gotta pull all that off really slowly. All right, so here she is. And wow, she is really, really gorgeous. Her cape in the back is really long and has glitter and snowflakes. So that is so, so pretty. I really, really like it. And she does stand on her own. You don't need to have anything. So she just kind of like rests on the snowflake base that you get with her. So here is the Olaf. Huh. That's really cool. This is like the first Olaf figure that I've noticed to do this. But you can actually move his head. Kind of tilt it. Stuff. It does have a little move piece. Oh, and his arms move. You can pose him in different ways. That's really, really cool. So he does move. Let me get the arms out of here. So she has different arms that you can use. There's a lot of small pieces to this, so you have to definitely be careful not to lose anything. <laughs> it's definitely something you don't want to do. So here is Olaf's stand, and he actually goes on this. So he probably... Yeah, he stands a little on his own. But he is kind of wobbly, so you can put him on this clear stand if you want to. So then you have better control of him. Which is probably what I'll do, because most likely he'll fall. Oh, his arm popped off. So, put his arm back on. Okay, so there is Olaf, and he is on his stand now. It's kind of challenging, but I got it on there. And here is the Elsa on her stand. So I'm going to cut away from the video and put on another face. So then you can kind of see her different faces. Okay, so I did discover there are instructions for her inside the box. And they are in Japanese, but the other side does have English. So that's pretty cool. So, to get her faces to change, you have to remove her front portion of her hair. So, that's the front portion of her hair. And then you can get to her face. And it just slides right off. It's kind of creepy. Um, so, this is an extra neck piece. I don't know why exactly they give you an extra piece. Um, and I also, I guess it's because it's the good smile company. There's a little smile on her neck. <laughs> Which is kind of weird. Um, I don't know why they give you that extra piece. Maybe in case this one breaks. Because it looks like the exact same thing. But here you go. You can just put the, the different face on there. And it just kind of slides in. Slides in there like that. And then you just put her bangs back on like so so now she's got a different face this is her smirking face and of course her arms come off because she has different arms so you can take the ones that came with it and now you can kind of get a look at her look at her dress here it's kind of got some glitter sparklies on it so it's really pretty so I'm going to put on her magic snow cap.
casting arm. And then I'm going to put on her little snowflake thing. So then, kind of get a look at it. And this is like kind of fragile, so it kind of worries me a bit. Just kind of try to put it on there as gentle as I can. I don't want to break it. Kind of scary. It doesn't really go into her hand that much. It just kind of rests on there. But okay, there she is, and she has her snow casting piece on there, and she's kind of smirking while she's showing off her magic. So yeah, she's really pretty. So there's that face, and it's really cool. I really like it. Next, I will put on the other face and see how that one looks. They've got her with that face on in a couple different positions, but I'm just going to use like one particular one. Probably like the singing version. This is cool. I just realized that on this particular set of hands, yeah, these particular set of hands here, you can actually move her wrist all the way around, which is unnatural, but you can do that if you want to. So this is like the singing pose, and really you can probably pose her in a few different ways, but these are the ones I've seen on the box, so the ones I went with. So she is really cute. And you can sit her on a little stand like this and you can sit her on there and put Olaf beside of her being all happy and yeah she's really really pretty now, this is one of the nicest figures I have from Frozen and I really really like it I think they did a really good job on her I'm so glad they came out with one be really awesome if they come up with an Anna one to go with her. Or maybe get a different version, like her coronation version or something. But that's what we have so far. And it took a while for that one to come out, so I don't know. But I definitely like her. But this video has gotten really, really long, so I apologize for that. But thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think of the pieces I got today. And I'll see you guys next week. Alright, bye.